My name is Victoria Stanton. I am an artist, researcher, curator, and educator based in Montreal, Canada. I'd say that my overall art practice is about creating experiences. Sometimes these processes result in material forms, so films, photos, writings, drawings, but sometimes and increasingly the experience itself is the work. Experiences are informed by my long-standing passion for, and I would say continued research into performative modes. So the intersection of the body, time, and space emerging through a multiplicity of contexts and performative situations. A significant interest for me in performance making is, therefore, the possibility for performance to open up spaces where the unexpected can happen. For me, it's about deliberately creating those spaces, or at least contributing to creating these spaces with others, for these moments of in-between to exist. So in between what and what? In between everyday life and art. I like to pry open that slippery, ambiguous space and place there an action or process or experience that hopefully can usher in a deeper reflection or awareness or a revelation of living in the present or the possibility for the present to be lived more fully. The possibility of creating what I think of as a performative present shared with me and another. So in this vein, I've been experimenting with various ways of being together, and over the last several years, projects have taken various forms. So just to give a kind of overview, some examples, um, it's ranged from groups of people feeding each other an entire meal in a restaurant, to me feeding people, to small children feeding adults, or, or specifically strangers, adult strangers, from cooking for people I've never met in their own homes to reading people's fortunes through broken crumbs of Melba toast, from silent group walks in meditative complicity to one-on-one -on -one alternative walking tours offered to me by local citizens in a city where I've only just arrived, from collective music listening sessions to collectively occupying sites in public places with the sole purpose of doing nothing. So in this crossing over of daily life actions into the art frame, in essence framing the everyday, I'm interested in trying to highlight the complexities, the beauty, the potential, and the potential magic inherent in a simple encounter. A kind of undisciplining of art where this opening up of that ambiguous interstice between an art action and everyday life is made possible precisely because of the performative potential of any given situation.